Hello everyone! Today we will open up the gift pack from Magic the Gathering. And it's not going to be just an opening for this box. It's also going to be a comparative video with a similar product but from Pokemon. And we are also going to unbox this and uh, see the differences between the boxes and what it yields. So first of all... Um, I have to note that this one was in euros, 20 euros, and the Pokemon box 25. And for that difference, you get two more boosters, actually. One more booster. But then again, with Magic, you get a couple of promos. But, alright, let's just open up the, the Magic one first, and see what we have. Note, these are all boosters from standard sets currently, with two promos for uh, also standard sets, Kaladesh block. Uh, first of all, the thing that uh, really falls out of the box is um, a poster. The Gatewatch uh, defeating, trying to defeat Nico Bolas, the white back so you can hang it on your wall or frame it or something like that right ah, on to the cards right first of all we have of course the thing that probably most people will buy these boxes for the unique foil basic lens these lens came out in commander 16 and commander 2017 and, of course, in the Commander decks, you cannot get them foil. So, these are special releases in which all of the basic planes, uh, sorry, the basic lands from Mark Pool are foil. Just look at that swamp and the mountain. And they all have the shooting star in the art, as we can see. Um, they have a different symbol, so it's not from the same set. They have a, um, a separate promo set thingy name so these are um these are quite nice to have and these range from 150 to 2 euros a piece so that's not too bad you got approximately 8 to uh, 9 euros in value right here to put them up right there then the next two are just plain foils from the regular releases Metal War Colossus, uh, just a regular Kaladesh Rare, nothing special here, it's just a foil. And Karizef, um, the Skyship Raider, also just a regular foil from Ether Revolt. Now then, alright, uh, yeah, so what do they do? Uh, Metal War Colossus is an 11 mana creature, 10 10, and it costs X less to cast, where X is the total converted mana cost of non creature artifacts you control. Sacrifice two artifacts, return Metal War Colossus from your graveyard to your hand. It's not that bad, but yeah, it's not really playable in standard, as I know. Karizef, um, there have been a couple of discussions with the pirate deck uh, for Ixalan. She is quite slow. She, yes, she does generate uh, a 2-1 monkey when she attacks, but she doesn't have haste, which makes her slow. It's a 1-3 for 2, uh, first strike a menace, and yeah, when she attacks, you create a legendary 2-1 red monkey creature token named Ragavan. Uh, that's tapped in attacking, and exile that token at end of combat. Still, it's a pirate, so some decks may see it, some decks won't. Now, these cards range, um, Karizev is around 70 cents to 90 cents in euros. Metalwork Colossus is around 40 cents, so yeah, that's really, really low. And we have a generic 20-sided spin, uh, spin down die. Nothing special here with the Planeswalker logo. We've seen many of these before in the past. Then we have three boosters from the most recent standard sets. Amon Ket, Hour of Devastation and Ixalan. Now then, I'll open these soon first of all we are going to open up the pokemon box and see what they have then we will move on to the boosters and then we can also see what the value is of just 
the single cards and the single stuff in here. So like I said, uh, we have four boosters. And these are also all uh, standard legal. Uh, Steam Siege, Sun and Moon and two Guardians Rising Sun and Moon. You have a code card, of course, for uh, Pokemon Online. Trading card game. Very nice. And of course we get the Tapu Koko GX. Which is an electric Pokemon 170 HP with the ability Arrow Trail. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may move any number of energy from your other Pokemon to this Pokemon. If you do, switch this Pokemon with your active Pokemon. That's a pretty nice ability actually. Uh, for 3 mana, Skyhawk, uh, Sky High Claws, 130 damage, and it's GX ability is Tapu Thunder, also 3, and it does 50 times um, the amount of energy attached to all of your opponent's Pokemon. <laughs> that, 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 that's just pretty sick. It's not just energy cards, but energy. So double colorless means you'll do 100 damage. Whew. And this is an alternate... Um, well, not an alternate art, but alternate color, because this is the shiny version. Yeah, you have that as well, where magic does not. Uh, this card ranges, well, starts from 350 in euros. And you get an oversized card, which, of course, you don't sell unless you really have a collector that likes them hanging on their walls. So, all in all, uh, playability, I would say Pokemon uh, clearly outmatches magic with the two weak cards and of course the Tapu Koko which is pretty nice pretty sick and a great looking shiny art magic could have done way better with that right let's move on to the boosters three boosters against four so yeah price wise um, if you'll just take one booster away you'll be at the same price range but we won't. Right, uh, we start off with Magic, Amon Cat. Um, now remember, Amon Cat has some pretty uh, expensive cards. We have the um, Invocations, of course. But then again, that's uh, really not that common. So you won't be expecting them in here. Uh, uncommons, Bontus Monument, uh, True Heart Twins, and Honored Crop Captain. And for our rare, we have Commit a Memory. Uh, commit being an instant, put target spell or non-land permanent into its owner's library second from the top. And memory, it's an aftermath card so you can cast it from your graveyard. Each player shuffles his or her hand and graveyard into his or her library, then draws seven cards. Then we get a foil, nice. Watchers of the Dead, which is an uncommon. We get a swamp and an advertisement card, alright. Now remember, um, for all you Pokemon Watchers out there, you um, don't get an instant foil in each pack of magic. And yes, magic viewers, you do get a foil in each and every booster of Pokemon. There. That's way better, isn't it? Right, uh, Hour of Devastation. Skipping the commons yet again. Supreme Will, quite a nice uncommon. It's a counter spell for three. Uh, you can counter a spell unless it's a controller pays three. Or you can look at the top four cards of your library, put one of them onto, into your hand, and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. Um, appeal to Authority, and Vizier of the True, and a rare here is Abandoned Sarcophagus. So Artifact for three, you may cast non-land cards with cycling from your graveyard. If a card with cycling would be put into your graveyard from anywhere, and it wasn't cycled, exile it instead. A full art mountain and a zombie token. And I'm not too crazy about this card, but still. And finally, Ixalan. This is the latest uh, release for Magic, and you would expect to be um, this box having two of these and maybe one of those. Instead, they chose to spread their chances and. Uh, yeah, not really promote Ixalan that much, which is too bad. Still, we're going to skip the comments. Uh, Grim Captain's Call, Elaborate Fire Cannon, and Bishop of the Bloodstained. 
And our rare here is a Primal Amulet, which is actually not that bad. It's a 4 mana artifact, instant and sorcery spells you cast, cost 1 less to cast. Uh, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, put a charge counter on Primal Amulet. Then if there are 4 or more charge counters on it, you may remove those cards and transform it into Primal Wellspring. Uh, when you tap it, you add 1 mana of any color to your mana pool, and when that mana is spent to cast an instant or sorcery spell, copy the spell. And choose new targets for the copy. Now then this card has been included in some decks in standards. Um, it hasn't been tested yet as far as I know. So we won't know yet if this card is a good one. So. Price wise. Not that great. Let's head over to Pokemon. Start off with the oldest set. Just like uh, Magic. Now then. For Pokemon you have 10 cards in a pack. Instead of the 15 we get with Magic. Still, all they remove are commons, so that's not too bad. Uh, right, commons. All right, so I don't know all the commons. Oh, right. They separate the commons with a reverse foil, which in magic terms is just the foil. So we get a uh, foil common, a Mankey, and a rare here is a Gastrodon. Uh, it's not that Expensive actually, it's 110 HP, uh, sticky shot, 20 damage during your opponent's next turn. The defending Pokemon's attack cost co uh, one colorless more, and its, and its retreat cost is one colorless more. For three, you have Water Pulse for 60, and your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. Yeah, and then the uncommons show up. Okay, so we have nothing special for this booster then again steam siege isn't known for its pricey cards sun and moon and beyond are because we have some hidden rares just like the invocations in magic with a very low chance of spawning so uh, yeah let's just take a look um commons all right the rarity symbol is over here oh still it gets separated by a foil like i said uh with pokemon you get a foil in each and every pack which is Superb magic could learn a thing or two about that. Just remove one of the commons or something and make uh, an instant common. That's uh, very nice. Uh, Alolan Grimer, all right. Uh, we have a, oh, nice. We have a Holo Arcanine, which is uh, not just our rare, it's a hollow rare. Um, yeah, you can more or less compare it to Mythic, I guess, in, um, in magic. Not that mythic, actually. It's really more in between rare and mythic. So, it's 130 HP. It's a fire Pokemon, of course. Uh, 60 damage for Searing Flame. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned. And Firestorm deals 190 damage. And discard 3 fire energy from this Pokemon. We get a grass energy. Uh, and, of course, the uncommons. Now then, two boosters left. Um, and these are from Guardians Rising, which is not the latest set, but I believe it is um, either one or two sets before that. I haven't been uh, paying much attention with Pokemon lately, so I don't really know. All right, uh, first of all, the reverse, of course, Petty Lil, and another Holo. We have an Alolan Golem, which is electric. Uh, for 3 energy electromagnetic rock wrecker, which does uh, flip a coin for each lightning energy attached to this Pokemon. Uh, this attack does 80 damage for each heads. And we have Heavy Slam for 4. Um, this attack does 30 damage less damage for each uh, colorless in your opponent's active Pokemon's retreat cost. And it starts off with a 200 base damage. Ah, that's pretty cool. I like this one. Uh, right, and we got some more uh, uncommons. I don't think it's anything of value over here. Um, the real value is in the GXs. Uh, hopefully we'll get one. Uh, probably not. All right. Uh, we start off with a Jang Mo, our reverse foil. And we have a regular uh, Probopass, uh, which is a metal Pokemon, 130 HP. And for one metal energy, energy link, uh, 30 damage, and attach an energy from your discard pile to this Pokemon. And it does Power Gem for four, uh, which does 120 damage. Just a regular rare. Nothing special here. 
yeah so um all in all i think um the boosters are just about the same level they're they're all just useless boosters in my opinion now then the real question is um do you want the extra foil basic lens next to the useless foils you get in the box or do you just want one standard playable actually not too bad of a card for your deck so you can just pick up the box if you need the card instead of getting this of course the lens are nice um, yeah I don't know I think wizards could learn a lot from Pokemon here instead of just throwing in two random foils so that's uh, yeah that's it uh, for this box opening I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, yeah see you guys next time bye bye